Game started. Oh, Casper 16. Here, let's try d4, I guess. What did I, play? I played e4 last time and then c4 before that. Okay, d4, d5. Let's go for a, a Queen's Gambit. A classical Queen's Gambit declined. Let's play it with the uh, Knights out first. This is the uh, traditional way of playing it. The main line. Oh, it goes for the Rigozan. Okay. It's sort of like a delayed Nimzo Indian. So now I have to decide what to do with that bishop. I think I will trade. Trade the bishop off and then play. Um, oh, he took with the pawn. I was really expecting him to take with the queen. And then play uh, e3 anyway. I guess. I mean, I need to open up a line for the bishop. I'm, I might be playing g3 here, just because the, the rook on the g file is kind of annoying, to my castled king position. So I don't know what's going on here at all. Let's um, ask the bishop what it wants to do. Check. It wants to take, okay. Now if I take his um, d pawn, isn't, haven't I, <laughs> haven't I turned his uh, pawn structure into Swiss cheese? Oh, he's got two doubled isolated pawns here, and an isolated pawn here, and an uh, advanced pawn here, which is not isolated because there's the uh, c pawn behind it, but the knight is in the way of really uh, on the other hand, uh, I can never really, uh, it's not that comfortable for me to castle. Interesting. Uh, I, I don't know where he's going to castle. I guess he's castling queenside. Let's prepare, in case I want to castle, let's prepare that. I'm, I'm going to put my rook on the b file here. Maybe he's going to advance the f pawns and try and damage my pawn structure. That seems like a plan. He's also, uh, at the moment, he was targeting my a pawn, so that slowed down the idea of rook to b1. So. Rook b1 now. Yeah, he did castle queenside. So, rook b1 and queen b3. Just attack on the b file here. And if he pushes b6, I have uh, bishop a6. Check to infiltrate a little bit. Then maybe castle and bring the rook over. With the idea of pushing the um, a pawn and sacking the exchange here on to open up the a file. So yeah, he just blockades with the knight, which also protects. Um, it protects the square b7, and also defends um, b3. Interesting. And the knight could hop into here. So let's um, bring the knight over. And that will. Um, Maybe prepare C5, C4 at least. C4. One takes, knight takes. If the knight hops into C5, C4, I can just take it. Okay, so I'm going to play G3. He can play bishop to... Um, he can play bishop to H3. But I didn't want to just castle into that open file. He could play bishop h3 anyway after that because of the pin on the you know, g pawn. But uh, bishop h3 is an interesting move here because it prevents me from castling. But takes pressure off the a pawn. Maybe I'm not going to castle in this game. Maybe I'll just move the knight and get my king to d2. Try and make that a safe square for my king. He goes there with the bishop. I see. If I block with the f-pawn, like f6, then um, the uh, e-pawn is weak. Then you can just play queen takes e6. So, bishop here. I mean, queen. Get the queen out of the way of the bishop. Can play bishop... Uh, f5 check. Just trade off this bishop. The 
queen. The queen is invading over here on the uh, queen side. That's a little bit surprising. Is there a, um, it's not actually threatening to take anything at the moment. I was thinking I could just uh, castle queen side here. I can't play the, the check that I want to play because I would pull my queen away and leave the c pawn hanging. So, castle though. And I can play rook to a1 and rook to b1 and chase the queen away. Let's put this on the C file for now. You know, I should have played rook a1 anyway. That's silly. He's hitting my rook, but if I threaten his queen, he's going to do something about that first. So that, that was a waste of a move. Ah, oh, well. <clears throat> I don't think my position is awful in any case, but uh, yeah. Just makes it a little bit easier for him. So now I can do this. Check. Check. Get rid of that. Get rid of that uh, bishop, which is a bit annoying, especially with all these light squared weaknesses. That's a dangerous Check. piece. Now the only piece that he has that can really invade here is his knight, which is over on the other side of the board. And I can play rook up to double. He can play c6 to chase the rook away. Oh, but I, the, the, the knight's hanging, so he can't do that right away. And uh, I'm not really threatening the um, d-pawn. Yeah, the d-pawn is defended. I'm just threatening the knight. So it's a way of doubling the rooks with tempo. Raise, lift the rook up and threaten the piece at the same time. Get all my rooks. Ah, he, so that's a, that's a good move. He threatens my queen. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's particularly great, but it's, it's a good idea and concept to uh, meet a threat with a bigger threat. So where do I want my queen to go? Maybe here. I'm looking at these key squares on the queen side. I still don't see him invading here. I have knight f3 at the moment to hit his knight or his rook if I want to. He's got to push these the, either the f-pawn or the h-pawn forward to try and bust up my pawns here. His knight is still hanging. There it goes. Okay, so I will take it there. And then um, double. Threatening threatening on B7 now. Oh, um, I forgot about that. Let's hang on a second. Yeah, when he went there, I took. Took back. Yeah, he was, he was uh, leaving the rook there. But both rooks were defended. Okay, so let's take with the rook. So now we're getting to more of an end game, and I think my uh, pawn structure isn't so bad for the end game. It's more together. It's like one big chain with only a few weaknesses to protect. As long as he can't um, invade and checkmate me with the queen and the rook, which I have enough force, I think, to keep him out, um, I should be able to go after his weak pawns and, and win this kind of end game. So what's his move going to be? Casper 16. If he plays b3, I'm just going to follow up with, uh, I mean b6, I'm going to follow up with a5. Try and open up a file near his king. I also have queen to b2, to double. He's stopping to think. He's got a weak pawn here I could try and go after at some point too, but I think it's more <clears throat> effective to continue with the mating threats than, than it is to go pawn hunting and maybe get my pieces out of position and fall fall victim to a mating attack myself. So how long has he been thinking? Five and a half to four. Well, it's a minute. That is a minute. Hmm. 
So what are his ideas here? I, I think his idea still is just to put something on the uh, G file and push the H pawn forward, try and open up a line just like I'm doing over here, but uh, I'm just a little bit faster, I think. So he's going for the immediate. Oh, that's an interesting idea. So he, he puts his queen here, it hits my rook, and it hits the pawn, which actually stops me from moving the pawn forward for a minute. And also defends on um, G. Defends on G or B B seven. So queen here defends my pawn and attacks his uh, C pawn. And I can also drop the rook back to if he hits the rook with C six. I can drop the rook back to b4, protecting the a-pawn, additional protection for the a-pawn. Oh, he's just going to let me have this. So if I take, he can play rook to um, c6, hitting the queen. The queen can go to b3. I think this is okay. And uh, rook here, check. <laughs> it's interesting, but it doesn't work. So, got to retreat the queen at this point, and then uh, start pushing these central pawns forward. Now I have a majority here <clears throat> in the center, and uh, I don't actually have any passed pawns. This one is stopped by, my e-pawn is stopped by his f-pawn, and my d-pawn is stopped by his uh, c-pawn, technically speaking, but maybe I can create a passed pawn, or at least uh, just gaining space over here will make it difficult for him. So pushing forward with... Uh, c4, maybe even d5. Yeah, so he goes for that. How should I break? I can break with... Um, I, mean, I can play a5 immediately. He can't take it. Queen takes, I have to take with the rook, and pawn takes is illegal because of the pen. So I can just take, I can just play that and open up a file. Uh, when I open up a file, yeah, I always kind of think about this. When I open up a file, he has queen here, check. King here. So queen a1, check. King g2. And then there's no more checks, but he is um, attacking the c-pawn. So I could leave this pawn here for a second. We just went there. That's interesting. Um, so now when he plays queen a1 check, after I take, if he plays a check immediately, I move my king up, and there's no, there's no follow-up because this pawn is protected. It was only when his rook was on the c-file, it was a double attack on my c-pawn. That he was threatening to win a pawn there. So now, can I push forward with um, c4 and c5, still allowing the check? If he plays c6, I have rook b6 check, and uh, that should pick up the queen, or queen for a rook maybe. If he doesn't play c6, I'm going to follow up with uh, c5 and uh, d5. Uh, he unpins. Not a bad idea. So if I play pawn to um, c5, what's he going to do? Is he going to take? Hmm. You know, um... Yeah, I don't know. He is threatening to play c6 here, I guess. Uh, well, I could play something like this. Rook, the idea with rook b4 is to threaten uh, rook a4, which would win his queen for a rook. And uh, maybe drive his king back to the, uh, the b file in, in order to deal with that threat. And queen here, check 
would not solve the problem because I would still have, after my king moves, I would still have the threat of rook to a4. So he's got to move his queen or his king somewhere else. If his king goes back to the b-file, then once again I can play c. Check. And he goes for the check, okay. <coughs> but like I said, I don't think, uh, you see his queen is kind of stuck on the uh, a-file now. It has no squares here, here. Ah, no, I'm sorry, it can come out along the... Uh, the first rank. Interesting. Yeah, so we can come to some of these squares. Okay, but it goes back there, which is a mistake. So that that should uh, at least uh, end the game. <laughs> I think Black I had resigns. I think I had a pretty good attack going. I think it could have broken through even without help from him. Okay, I will upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.